welcome to another lightened up gooseberry patch recipe. This recipe comes from Grandma's Kitchen. Handed down recipes and ideas for creating family memories. That's where I got this and that's where I got the two prep recipes from. If you have not watched my prep, the cream of tomato soup and the um, ham and potatoes au gratin is really good. It's really good. Tomato soup is good too. I've um, been eating it every day with some saltine crackers, so uh, I think both of those were a hit. This one tonight is the crock pot Italian beef. Now, I just finished it. I just ate my supper. You can hear my air fryer in the background. I do have the okra going. I will tease you and make you wait till the end to hear my opinion. So, <laughs> you just have to watch and see how it turns out. Either way it turns out, you know I'm always going to be 100% honest with you. You can count on that. So, let's just turn around and get started cutting. Okay, to get started on this recipe, we're just going to mix up all the, the sauce ingredients. And, um... Line it if you want to. I think I've told you before. My husband loves these liners. One can of beef broth. Just any kind you want. If you want low sodium or, you know, fat free. However you like your beef broth. I just have the regular. One packet of Italian seasoning. Um, salad dressing mix. I had bought this. Oh my gosh. It's from Aldi's and I have not been to Aldi's and I don't even know when. Seriously, I don't know when. And I bought it for some kind of recipe. Obviously, never made the recipe. So when I found this one in the um, cookbook, I thought, ew, that just sounds promising. And I had the chuck roast in the freezer. And let's see, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Now it says garlic to taste, so I'm just going to throw in a teaspoon. I don't think that'll be too much. We'll see at the end, won't we? <laughs> then this is the ingredient I'm just not sure about, but we're going to go for it. These pepper, pepper, pepper and cheese, or however you say it, um, I was told they are not hot. Okay, well they smell, um, they smell hot. I don't even want to taste it. It says eight ounces, but I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not putting eight ounces in the Hold on. You know what? That's not too bad. Nope, that really ain't too bad. We'll just go on and, we'll go on and put our eight ounces in there. I originally was going to buy the, um, sliced ones and I said no I better make the big ones so David can pick them out who am I kidding so I can pick them out too <laughs> now nah, I'm not going to do any more than that and I think I will just if it was an 8 ounce jar of these you would probably just pour the whole thing in so I'm just going to pour a little bit of the um, juice in there now the only thing left is our chuck roast and it calls for a three to five pound roast i had two in the freezer that i had bought marked down this one's a two pound and this one's just over a pound i was going to use this one for something small for me and david but i thought well i'll just combine them so i thought them both out um, last night so this makes us three pounds and you know normally I season all my meat before I cook it because I say season your meat because your sauce is seasoned. But I think this is going to be flavorful enough that I don't think I want to add any more salt to it. I'm just going to try to maybe get a little bit of that. Let's see if I can wedge it down in there. I know you can't see in this crock pot. There we go. Let me unplug it. 
there we go we just have it wedged down in there and the little um peppers here and there i will write the recipe as it's written so if you like eight ounces of the peppers then that's what you use now we're going to cover it put it on low where's my cover put it on low six to eight hours now most times when i use these um, cover my lids somebody will ask me why do you put that foil on there <laughs> one day i don't know how many years ago i've been doing this the you know how crock pots will get hot and they'll they'll do that that number right there and then it makes a mess on your counter it spews and it just got on my nerves and i thought well there needs to be some kind of seal so i pop some foil on it put it down it gives it just enough seal where it hardly ever does that thing so i just leave it on there i wash it and then as it gets you know used i'll, I'll take it off and change it but i don't change it every single time because there's no use to it's just like a, a pot lid you're just getting the steam on the top so wash it off and then replace it when you need it so that is why i use um full on my lids so six to eight hours we'll come back see if it's ready to shred it give it a taste and see how this one turns out i got my fingers crossed i think this is gonna be good Hey, I'm interrupting this regularly <laughs> scheduled broadcast because I got a um, notice that I got some mail at my post office box. I got a package delivered. <laughs> so I got to go see that. And I have a mask to deliver to Holly. Joan made her um, a new mask. And I wanted to show you the one she sent me for Halloween. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to model it too. Let me make sure if it's is it got a right side. I don't think it does. Is it me or what? <laughs> I love it. You know I'll be wearing that thing year round. Anyway, ooh, it is so nice out here today. This weather. I just checked it before I come on here. I was talking to Joan earlier this morning. She said it was 54 out there in Jersey. I looked and it was 64 here. And that was probably about 5 or 6 o'clock this morning we were talking. I don't remember. It was early. And, um... I just checked and it's 66. It's not humid. That's the best part. Cause we can have 66 and still be just hotter than 40, but there's no humidity. There's a little bit of breeze going. So anyway, I'm going to head to the post office and I'll come back if it's, um, well, it can't be nothing I ordered. So it has to be happy mail. <laughs> so uh, that's so exciting. So I will come back and show you my happy mail. I'm being very presumptuous, aren't I? And um, after that, then we'll finish up the recipe. It is Happy Mail, and I'm too excited to go. <laughs> too excited to go home because I still got to go to Holly's. I can't wait that long. So I just pulled over. They shut up this. Um, you can go in the front of the post office and then the side over here, which is where I usually go in. Used to before COVID. And then, I don't know, a couple months ago, they just decided to block this whole entrance off. So nobody ever parks over here. So I thought, well, I will come over here because it is... um. An Amazon pack, and you don't need um, scissors for that because it just tears. <laughs> Listen, arthritis is a witch. <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> I can't get it. Okay, it's a, it's a, a baked tater bag. Somebody didn't put no note in here. It comes straight from Amazon. Some little sneaky sneakerson. You better tell me. I can't even get this open. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's two of them. This is already thicker than the one I have had. What I tell you, I've had it for... <laughs> uh, Holly's 25 and I got it when she was probably in the first grade, I'm thinking. Because I, I was working where I was working when she was in the first grade. And that's when I was there. So, oh, check it on the inside. Sure enough. Potato Express. 
so thank you to whoever I appreciate it listen you know what that <laughs> you know what that makes me think of <laughs> cuz I didn't say it to get nothing you know I just run my mouth you remember that first episode of friends and Ross and his wife have split and he's sitting there and he's just all defeated and he says I just want to be married again and M rocks Rachel in her wedding gown and Chandler's just like and I want a million dollars let me throw that out into the universe I want a million dollars <laughs> so anyway whoever sent this I appreciate that that was very very thoughtful of you I will immediately retire the old one i don't know that i can get rid of it i'll stick it up <laughs> under the bottom of my pot holders but i will definitely retire it and we will use these the next time i like it um i can do how if i need like more for a crowd i can do how many ever in here and then have another one ready to go so okay thank you now we get on back to our recipe it was, it was in there about uh, eight and a half hours something like that there was no way for me to like pull it out of the crock pot on camera without being dead in front of y'all the, the way this angle is and I went ahead and took the little peppers out because you know we're not eating those I did taste a little bit of the meat and it's got just a little bit of a, a, a heat to it and I, my mouth is very sensitive to heat so to some of y'all you probably won't even taste it but all we need to do is to however you want to shred it two forks knife before however you shred your beef we're going to shred it and put it back into the juice so i'm not going to make you watch me do that so just hang on one sec okay i'm going to hold this over here so you can see it's shredded all down in the juice i'm going to whirl you back over here <laughs> now the way i'm serving it is on hoagie rolls and david picked them up for me so these are the ones he got when i scanned them they're six points. That is a big roll for six points for a, a break bakery um, roll. But I'm going to make some okra too. And I'm just going to eat half and I'm going to eat it open face. Now you can weigh it and get your grams and get your exact points. But I'll just be honest with you, I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm just going to take it half of it as three points. But I am going to weigh my um, roast. And I'm going to tell you. I can never see on that big plate. I'm going to do ounces. Um, there are three entries for chuck roast. One is three points for three ounces. One is five points for three ounces. And one is seven points for three ounces. I don't know which one to use, so I'm going to split the difference, and I'm going to take the five point. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to take three ounces. And as far as the marinade goes, okay, that's three and a half. I'm not going to take nothing back off. That looks like a good amount. Mm -hmm. As far as the, the juice goes or whatever, I don't count that. I think there's just a few points in the... Um, salad dressing mix but when you separate it into this whole big old pot of liquid y'all saw how much it was I don't think that's enough to count so I am not counting the juice just the meat and I think I want to melt a little piece of cheese on top the Sargento ultra thin Swiss is only one point for one slice and I think It is thin for sure. It's not coming out all that great. I'm just going to put half on one and half on the other and pop that in the microwave. And then um, I'll come back and show you how good it looks and if it tastes as good as it does look. Okay, I melted the cheese. Don't that look good? Well, I went up under there because I wanted a little bite without the cheese because I want to give it a honest um opinion on how the actual roast tastes i kind of swirled it around in there and i can't really 
can't really put my eye teeth on it so I'm going to take one more okay so here is my honest um, opinion and I hate bringing you a recipe that didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to turn out but that's the the dice you roll when you just take a recipe out of a cookbook and you try it well and I didn't change anything in this I made it just exactly like she said it doesn't have a lot of Italian flavor all you can taste is the little bit of heat from those peppers and the tang of that vinegar so I think the beef broth watered it down you know when I make my sesame chicken that I made for that um, collab I like to cook my chicken first and then put the sauce on it because the chicken gives off a lot of juice well you saw how much juice this roast gave off this is what I think I would do and I think I will try it again in the future I think I would leave out the beef broth I'm gonna write the recipe as is maybe your taste buds taste something different than mine mine are kind of dull to to a lot of things except for heat is not dull to heat I would leave out the beef broth and just sprinkle it with the seasonings the packet and the um, Italian and the garlic I would also salt it I did not um, season the meat but it needed it the sauce is not flavorful as I thought it was gonna be so you do need to season your meat first I think I would do that put the little peppers around it a little bit of the juice and then as the juice comes off of the roast maybe go back in and check it and baste it to get some of the dry seasoning off the top and see if it's not a little bit more flavorful like that I mean it's good but it's not Italian-y like you would think with all that in it so that is my honest review I'm not gonna make something and stand here and say oh this is the most delicious thing I have ever eaten in my life <laughs> when it's just good all right, it's good enough to eat. Obviously, I'm not going to throw it away. Um, I mean, it is good. I was just expecting more of a flavor bomb. So there you have it. Try it this way if you want to try it this way. I'm also going to write the recipe with the um, adjustments that I will make the next time I make it. And I will try this again because I think it's worth um, perfecting. I, I really do because that makes a good um, shred on, for a sandwich. A little bit of melted cheese you could put you know any kind of topping on there else you wanted so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this gooseberry patch video and i'll get another book out and see what we can do next week so i will talk to you later